What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we are talking about Power Automate and CDS triggers. So I've been covering the common data service triggers in Flow over the last couple of videos, and we're now look at the next one in that group, which is the when a record is deleted. This allows you to trigger a flow when someone deletes a record in the system. Um, you may want to notify someone that a record's been deleted. You may want to keep a log of who is deleting records. So this allows you to do that. So we are in uh, Power Automate here, and I have the Common Data Service um, connector here. Click on that, I get four options, and this option here is when a record is deleted. Now the first thing it's going to ask me for is my environment. So again, like my other videos, this is the location where we're running this. So in my instance, I can choose current um, and that will run in the context of the environment I'm in. This also means that if I move this, um, this flow from one environment to another environment, I won't then need to come in and update this environment connector, uh, environment setting here. It'll just work. So that's one, uh, one advantage of using the current environment setting there. Next, I need to choose an entity name. So in my instance, I'm going to choose accounts because uh, I want this to run on accounts. Uh, and then I need to choose a scope. Uh, again, if you've watched my previous videos, I've gone into some detail about this. The scope is the uh, context in which this is running, i.e. will this just run um, from a, a security perspective of a user, a business unit, a parent, child, or organization. Uh, for this instance, I'm going to choose organization, um, just because it's a bit easier. Uh, and then I can do anything else after this. So I could make a, uh, a note of who's deleting the record. I could um, send a notification to someone to say that uh, I'm deleting the record. One of the interesting things in inside Dynamics is that there's no way to view deleted records. Once a record is deleted, it's deleted. There's also not a record of who deleted the of who deleted it either. Um, so creating something that will retain this information is actually um, something that some organizations want to know about and uh, want to be able to do. So that's what we can do here. So after this, um, I will just create a quick compose step and just show you uh, some options. So if I enter compose here, if I go into my diet content, I get a list of all of the fields that are on an account. So I could have like account name, I could have the address, for instance. I'm actually going to choose account name. Account name, and I'll put it into there. So when a record is deleted, we're going to store the account name uh, of the deleted record in here. That's what we're going to do. Well, that's what we're going to try and do anyway. So we will test this out. Click test. I'll perform the trigger action. Save and test. Right, flow's running. Um, now, go back over to my CDS system. Um, I've got this uh, test account down here um, that I can select. So test account two. And I can choose delete from the ruin. And then it's pop up. It says, are you sure you want to delete one account? Uh, you can't undo this action. Deleting accounts will delete all records under the accounts as well. For example, social profiles, opportunities, activities, and contacts. Sub accounts will also be uh, will be removed from the account but not deleted. SharePoint documents will not be deleted but may be accessible through Microsoft Dynamics 365 to keep uh, records under the account available for further use or for reporting. Click cancel and then select deactivate from the command bar to continue deleting the account. Click delete. That is a quite comprehensive delete message. I think that's new. Uh, I don't remember seeing that before. I think I just remember saying you can't undo this action. Are you sure you want to do it? So that's why I wanted to uh, show you that. So if I click delete, processing, and it goes away. If I go back to Power Automate, um, this may take a moment to um, finish running. There we go. So uh, this has run. Uh, and we can see when the record is deleted and then we can click compose action but there is nothing actually in the compose inputs or outputs now there's a reason for this the what we were putting into the compose action was actually the um was actually the name of the account and not um anything else if you open up when a record is deleted the actual outputs that you get are these you don't get any other information so although that 
information was available um, when I was choosing the dynamic content, it's not actually available in the output of this body. So although you do get that option, you need to be aware that this is the only information that you get. But you do get some key information, you get the account ID, so the actual druid of the account that was deleted, and you also get the um, runner system user ID, so the, the user that deleted this as well. Uh, you get the SDK message to say this was the delete. Um, so you do get some information, but you don't get all the information that's available in that dynamic content. I think it's a bit um, frustrating for some people that you would get that information, um, that you potentially have that as, as direct content, but that's not actually available um, when you come to use it. It is actually only this information um, that's available here. So what do you guys think? Do you uh, do you keep a record of people that delete records? Um, do you store it somehow? Do you use flow for that? Um, do, you, do you have certain flows for that and certain flows for other things? I'd like to know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please like and please share it with your friends. It's always appreciated. If you've not already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.